Lord say, you were born in sin and shaped in iniquity. Now, what does that mean? Born in sin. Kind of understand that, but shaped in iniquity. The way I want to break that down is to talk about a tree. A tree is born in wood. When the tree is born, it's wood. Don't try to be a cloak. Don't try to be a TV. You were born in wood. Every tree you see is wood, right? How many of you have ever seen a tree that wasn't wood? That was a real tree. I know y'all got the little artificial ficus tree in the house. We got about 20 of them down the hall. In fact, they ain't real, okay? Whoever's been watering our fake trees, let me give you a prophetic utterance. The tree ain't real, okay? It's a hypocrite tree. It ain't real. But real trees are born in wood. You go right now to a forest, you'll see trees that are born in wood. All trees are born in wood. But then something interesting happens. Yes, they are born in wood, but then a carpenter comes along and will take the thing that was born in wood and shape it into a door. Shape it into a table. A construction builder will come along, take the tree that was born in wood and shape it into a board. So yes, it was born in wood, but the reason reason it became a door is not because the tree born in wood became a door on its own. Somebody came along and said, I know you're wood and I'm going to decide what you're going to be. You don't have nothing to do with it. I see a tree that I want to be a door and so the carpenter will cut down the tree, shape the tree into what he wants it to be. And so when David said we were born in sin, all of us were born in sin, but whatever iniquity you are struggling with. It wasn't because you were born into that. Somebody came along and shaped you. Somebody came along and molded you. Somebody else's experience took the sin and made it iniquity. I was born in sin but shaped in iniquity. How do you understand what I'm talking about? That I was born in sin but there is some experience that shaped me. And see here's the interesting thing about trees. As long as they're trees they can say we have something in common. One tree understands the other tree. But when the carpenter shaped tree A into a door and the builder shapes tree B into a two by four, the door says, I don't know how you could be a two by four. And the two by four says, I don't know how you could be a door. Because even though we are both wood, you got shaped into something different from me and I can't understand you. So the door can't judge the board and the board can't judge the door because we both wood. We just got shaped differently. So the alcoholic can't judge the womanizer. The homosexual can't judge the prostitute. The pimp can't judge the pusher. The saint can't judge the sinner. Because we were all born in sin. So you might as well save your time. You ain't nothing but an old tree. You might have got built into something. I don't know how you can put up with that. I don't know how you can live that. Well, the reason you don't understand board is because you are door. The reason you don't understand coffee table is because you are kitchen table. Don't try to judge me as if you are beyond wood yourself. Because I'll strip the paint off of you. I'll strip the decorations off of you. And underneath all of that stuff, you ain't nothing but a tree. Underneath that degree, you still a sinner. Underneath that six-figure income, you still a sinner. Underneath your church title, you are still a sinner. It is a birth defect. And there are similarities between natural birth defects.